Hear that? I wish I had another set of headphones for you. But yeah, we're, we're not live, but we're on. What is up, guys, and welcome back. We're doing something a little bit different today. I'm starting like a... We're, we're going to try and kind of go into like a podcast type style video. I've kind of been making some content that's kind of been heading that way anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm here with Ben Giles. He's my business partner. Hello. He's one of the Dons of the Wood Cartel. I'm a Don. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> sipping on a little bit of bourbon. He's sipping on some Smirnoff. Cheers, buddy. Thanks. People are going to roast you for the Smirnoff, but I offered him beer I'll and get, bourbon. I can have my address. <laughs> Wouldn't go good for them. I don't know if you guys can see or not. I'll probably zoom in on this guy's ears right here. So. It's a birthday guy. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Ben and I own a tree service, the Wood Cartel. Ben is, I would consider, I wouldn't consider you like an avid fisherman, but you definitely know more about fly fishing than I do. Yeah. So, I mean, you're he's, he's, you're you're an all-around outdoorsman, but you're like an avid hunter. I'm definitely an avid hunter. Yeah. 100%. I would say I enjoy fishing. Any Like, if I get an opportunity to go fishing and it doesn't, like, coincide with hunting, I'll probably go fishing. Yeah. But, like, I will never choose a fishing trip over a hunting trip. It's just flat out it is. Unless it's, like, a hawk hunt in the middle of the night, then, then I'll go fishing. Right. Because that sucks. You know at least as much about hunting as I do as fishing. Oh, if not more, yeah, one hundred percent. That was, that was like, that was my bread and butter, man. That's what I grew up doing. It's just, that was like culture for me. Like, yeah, like go over to my grandparents' house and like grandma had chili, like for all the hunters, like when rifle season would start, and then like, everybody, like, and then you got excited every day, like, oh, who killed the deer today? Like it was just like it was like a, like a new TV series. Like, right, kids nowadays. It's like, killed that deer where's this deer at like yeah. where are we gonna hunt next like heck yeah so you've been yeah. so you've been hunting for like ever Shit. yeah uh, I mean I remember going to the woods with my dad when I was five and six years old for hunting season and like I've been in the woods since I could walk man for sure we've known each other for I mean what it's sixth grade it's, uh, six yeah six and then how many years is that we're getting old dude known each other since sixth grade I think seventh grade we were like Official best friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's been old, dude. We're getting old. How old? How long ago that would have been? That'd have been like twenty years ago. So how old were we in seventh grade? Probably like thirteen. I'm thirty three now. So that's twenty. Twenty years. Yeah. Jeez, we're, we're old. So yeah, guys, I apologize if the audio isn't like perfectly crisp. I only have one mic right now, so and he can't hear anything that's going on. I can hear him, so it sounds good for my end because I'm wearing headphones. But I got one mic, one headphone. We're gonna do the. We're gonna, we're gonna do the best we can. The mic's kind of set up like a conference. That's why you can hear all this stuff. But, but yeah. So, I've been making a bunch of content about cheaters, a bunch of fishing cheaters. It's incredible how many fishing cheaters there are because the content is absolutely endless, and uh, it's just crazy like what people will do to cheat just to get recognition. Sometimes it's not even worth like sometimes it's not even for a lot of money. It's just like you just want the recognition of like the best fishermen or they, they catch the biggest bass and what's crazy is some of these guys put so much work into like cheating that if they just put the time in on the water it would it would almost correlate with the success that they want but you being the hunter you are there's some big like white tail conspiracy there's a lot of conspiracy dude there's conspiracies even local too like this kind of just brings me up to like where I take take my deer to get the taxidermist the local taxidermist he always gets people that come in and they kill they legally kill these deer but they kill them in high fence areas, so like deer and high, high fence, fence. Yeah. So like deer and high fence, obviously they're fed different mineral supplements and stuff like that. And they got to keep the customers coming, but they never have a naturalistic looking rack. The racks are usually like a very pale white. Yeah. And like they have like a way different density. Is that because of what they're feeding them, or? Oh, one hundred percent. Like the mineral content they have, and then like also it's kind of like um, you ever seen it? I'm sure you've seen like a. A wild turkey compared to like a domesticated turkey. Oh yeah, it's really turkey. different. Like those domesticated. They start to domesticate ones, the white. What happens tail. when you domesticate a turkey? It starts yeah. turning what? Like white. White. It's like... kind of like the same thing. So like, even though these deer are like free roaming in the, these high fence areas, for some reason, well, it, like, you're shrinking the gene pool. What's that? You're shrinking the gene pool, right? Shrinking the gene pool. Like, like they're they're obviously their gene pool is going to just be in that fence, so. Oh yeah, they probably so get more so diseases so, and stuff too. Well, the, 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 they'll bring in different dough for like the gene yeah. pool block. So, but when when you do congregate deer, it is like a super high, like 
one hundred percent they're way more disease prone. That's even been proven. Like in like you've had these game commissions like they had to go in like a lot of like uh, the chronic wasting disease that's found in stuff. It's usually found in like high fence areas first because like the the deer need to be free range. Like right. they've proven it time and time again. Like how even just like if you have five thousand acres like deer panic when they can't get out of an area they don't want in so yeah. just imagine like that fence being there so like and then like that cortisol really stays with them and like it puts them in a super high stress environment right so like it's like, it's like a disease prone when they're in these high fence situations but anyway like back to the, that white rack heavy dense rack and like you'll get you'll, you'll get that wild you'll find that here and there but like it's very prominent and like a guy that does taxidermy work like they they know it, like the second they see the deer and like he yeah. was telling me he's like I, I point out the one deer he's like he's like oh he's like yeah man he's like that's just one of those high fence deers and uh, I was like oh really and he's like telling me and he's kind of want to explain it to us I've never even thought of it that way he's like yeah he's like he's like I get these in all the time he's like he's like and these guys were all the same like yeah he's like they got some money he's like because dude these deer aren't cheap like right. these these deer cost thousands of dollars to go kill and um he's like. He's like, they'll ask me, he's like, to fill out the holes in their ear. I'm like, the holes in their ear? He's like, Oh, yeah. from the tags? I was like, oh, tags. my goodness, dude. He's like, he's like I, I can. He's like, you know. Oh, my gosh. He's like, as long as I have the conservation. So they can lie right. about it, basically. And it's not even like, a, it's not even it's like. It's like equivalent to like with fishing pay lakes. Yeah. Like going to yeah, like a pay lake thing. catfish pond yeah. where they've put all these giants in there and. It's the same it's thing. The, and they're just stuck to this, like, two-acre lake. And it's all for the recognition of... And then those guys act like they caught some giant fish and... Of killing an animal or catching a fish. And, like, that's the difference. Is like, there's a kill and then there's, like, all... There's no harvest. sport. There's no sport in that. It's really different. No, there's not. Like, I, I don't... I would never hunt high fish. Right. Like, you couldn't pay me to do it. Flat out. You I'd go to a pay lake just to, like, make a video on it and then, like, trash it. You couldn't pay me to go <laughs> hunt a high fence. Yeah. You just couldn't. Well, I would go to a pay lake just to make fun of it. Yeah. But, yeah, I wouldn't. But, see, that's different, too, though, because I'm catching release, so, like, I'm going to let them go regardless. Like, you're, you're <laughs> killing a defenseless animal that's not... There's no sport involved. Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, like that's yeah. the thing. Like, you, that, those guys know where they're going to... Like, these deer are going to be... One, like, right. Even, dude, even 5,000 acres, man, if, if, if you know their Especially exact food, food source... And, yeah, and, like, that's the thing. People just go there to kill and hang, hang an animal on the wall and, like, whatever, I guess, like... It's better, I guess it's still better than like buying like store bought food like right but still it's I don't know but just like fishing man you know people just do it for the f-ing recognition that, yeah that. they want people to think that they're like the man yeah so. I already know that I'm gonna get roasted in the comments because my last video I got roasted because I was chewing gum they said it was annoying but every time I pick this up it just like rattles you can't hear it because I'm wearing these but it's yeah. so loud and everyone's gonna be like that's so oh. annoying bro but whatever I'll get over it what do they want? They might not. Yeah, they like they're like for life. It, it, like there's some happen. sensitive people online. There are. I've so seen them. It gets it gets out of hand. It gets out of hand quick. I, like I said, I've been doing all these videos on all these cheaters. One of the one of the main fishing cheaters that I haven't done a video in a while. His name is Mike Long, and the 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 like extent that he would go to to try to like win local like lake records and all this stuff. Like it was absolutely unreal. He had secret compartments in his boat. He was taking fish from one body of water to another where they weren't big fish and acting like he caught them there. He was keeping them in a fish tank, which I got all these fish tanks around me. I did have a bass. I had to let the bass go. He was getting a little too big. Yeah, right, dude. You hit it underneath the log. You're going to catch it. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. But no, like, so he was, he had like a huge fish tank in his garage where he was like raising these things and like had like seven pounders in there and he was taking them out to the tournament. And, like, dude was just doing all this crazy stuff. And half the time it wasn't even for tournament winnings. It was just for like recognition. Like, oh, I got that lake record. Like, just, just crazy. Well, there's some crazy conspiracy that I guess was from 1998 in the whitetail world. Yeah. Was, and it's kind of resurfacing lately, I think, because uh, the Joe Rogan did a podcast on it yeah, like did, a couple months I was, ago. I was kind of bringing that, yeah, he did a podcast with Steve Rennell on it. Rennell breaks it down, like, really well. I've heard about it, and I never, like, went into much detail as Rennell can talk about, but, like, man, it, it's pretty wild. Like, so <clears throat> this Mike and Paul, like, super decorated hunter and outdoorsman for sure and the story kind of goes with this from Paula Buck it was supposed to be like the new world record back then beating uh jeez I'm trying to remember the guy the Hanson I think the Hanson, Hanson Buck the Hanson Buck it was, was supposed to beat this Hanson Buck score this is back in 1998 when he back in 1998 so and then the it's Hanson, crazy how this stuff's all the like Hanson coming Buck back now. was killed a few years prior to that 
So this buck was supposed to kill the typical Hanson buck, okay, this Micropolis. And like, so <clears throat> the whole thing behind it is, so he gets, he has three people come in and they swore the deer after it's, after it's taxidermist, okay? So it comes in and scores 200 some inches. I think it was 218. 218. It's funny because I, I just watched a video on this. Yeah. That's why I even so, know any of this. He knows way more I'm about just, this than I'm me. Just, I'm just running. Yeah, you're just going recall. by your knowledge, yeah. But, um, so it beats this buck. And <clears throat> so people, it catches wind. Because we... When a, when a big deer catches wind just in a county, like, it's a huge deal. Right, everybody Let alone, out. like, a world record box. So, like, this is a big freaking deal to, like, the hunting industry. And the issue starts getting pushed about this deer. Like, hey, like, why don't you get it officially, like, officially scored and, like, put in the record books? Right. Oh, the guy's like, no, no. You know, kind of gets pressed with it. The dudes, anyone who knows the guy says, like, you know, Mike's just kind of a guy that just likes to be left alone he, he he hunts because he hunts yeah you know like it, that's just who he is now here's where it gets kind of weird because now money starts getting involved and like anybody that knows the hunting industry like like the hands that handsome buck did that guy that guy brings in all kind of money brings in all kind of money just allowing so he allowing might that dude to get shot he probably he probably had a million dollar contract when they so that is where i didn't even think buck. of it from that angle so he could be influencing this whole like like witch hunt I mean if it's a witch hunt like nobody really knows but if like he could be influencing that to, to make sure that his buck stays in the records so that he keeps getting the money coming in oh yeah yeah like if he's getting yeah, the mo- yes technically they could be paying they yeah. could be paying a ball under the table well like, they could be doing that or they could just be influencing like this whole like like oh, to try to try yeah. to discredit the other guy yeah essentially but that's the other thing too so <clears throat> Hanson had and um, or yeah, they could have paid him. Mike, off. they the uh, Paul Buck. Okay, so you got the Hanson Buck from Paul Buck. Hanson Buck's officially scored when Paul's not. So the Hanson guy had Mike sign a contract stating that he that he still has the biggest buck because Mike never, never had it scored, never had yeah. it officially scored, and that's where it gets weird. So, they went in the stop saying that it was the biggest whitetail. Yeah. So whatever. So. I'm sure there was an undisclosed amount of money that was involved there. It probably there. was, yeah. None of the other guys touch on that, but that makes perfect sense. But before that, Mike was offered $10,000, at least $10,000, by two different parties just to get the buck x-rayed. And this is where it kind of gets conspiracy theorists. So why they wanted x-rayed is because when, when you when you taxidermy a deer, okay, the only part, the only part of that deer that's actually the deer is the fur yeah. and the top skull plate. So you right. cut the top skull plate out, and it's like a little rectangle, okay? And you have your, ant- your antlers. So it looks like this, okay? Now, the controversy... Here's where the controversy gets weird. So this deer had, like, ears that notably yeah. pointed backwards, which is kind of odd for a whitetail. Now, I go to the point, while the deer had a wide rack, and the antlers kind of came out the side of his right. head. So, which looks like some of those high fence bucks too. It does look high fence, and that but, was another thing. There was but not fence, saying that it was high fence, but that there was a high fence area not far and from where Mike killed that buck. Well, see, what's crazy though is none of the people saying that it's fake are saying that it came from a high fence. They're saying that he fabricated the rack. Yeah. It'd have been much easier for him to just take a deer from the high fence and drag it out in the woods. One hundred percent. But there was no tags or anything on its ears. Nothing like that. So I'm just gonna just the just, just not to like try and cut you off or anything but just to kind of show like like uh proof of your expertise i'm gonna like just throw a couple of your pictures like right here some of the bucks that you shot so people can check that out just oh, so they kind okay. of yeah, so, thing, dude. just just so they see like just so they know that you're not like just some yeah. joker but you've caught you've, you've i almost said caught you've you've <laughs> yeah, shot some because <laughs> 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 he goes hunting with a net gun <laughs> no you've you've uh you've shot some monster like you, you've i've done pretty you, for in the Washington, area, I, I don't know anybody well. who who gets the deer that you get. Yeah. Like I don't know anyone that. I'm, I'm trying to avoid the word shot and kill yeah. because YouTube. Uh, they don't like those words, man. They yeah, but it's hunting. Look at it. Hunting, yeah. You're, 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 I've never seen anyone get the bucks that you've got. Uh, yeah, around I, I here. Do it all right. Yeah, for sure. You know, I know people, but like that's just like you got the the culture of fishing at the culture. Of yeah, yeah. Like I understand, but anyway. 
So this deer, where its antlers are at, are literally like on the side of its head, which is definitely like an abnormality. Like you don't It does see, look a little weird, but it's it also so weird. big. But the controversy falls in. They are saying that Mike went in before he had the photos taken, cut the skull it's plate more, out. It's Mitch. Name's Mitch. Or, or Mitch, Mitch, I'm sorry, Mitch. Bell, yeah. Cut or the skull Rimmel. plate out, split it, and and then reset it in the Somebody would have noticed. Like, the taxidermist definitely would have noticed that. Unless he put the taxidermist off. Yeah. But even, but, but how much money did he have? Because eventually people were going to talk. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, he's, he's Nobody, a, this is one of the things where nobody knows. Like, you can watch all these videos he, on YouTube. And it's all the same story. They're pretty much saying the same exact thing I am. Yeah. But your stance is you think it's legit. I think it's more legit because here's why. Even even if it does have a high fence gene pool, he, the game warden was there and 100% said he didn't kill us in a high fence area. Right. Now, on top of that, the man has killed several different buck right. that have v- serious commonalities as this buck, especially, and, and the most important trait, is where the skull, where their antlers sit on their skull plate. Every one of them sit on the outside of their skull plate, as opposed to like a typical whitetail, where they kind of yeah. like, you know, just mid-center area. Like, right. they're not... They're not Obviously, they're not going to be dead center in well, your head. You made a good point earlier when you were saying that if he has found an area where there's giant deer, he's obviously not going to want everyone to know exactly where he's hunting. No. And two, if he's on a if he's on a specific area, like that might just be like a really good like the, it's that yeah, gene pool. All, all the is. bucks are going to kind of look similar. If he knows that one hundred percent, if he knows if you, if you know an area, you can pretty well get back to that area year after year. Yeah. And kill a big. Buck they're going to look similar. After. If you know a honey, if you got honey holes, there's definitely going to be buck, big buck there for sure, one hundred percent. Yeah, I've never had a honey hole that just got blown out for no apparent reason, unless you know things happen. But like, if it's left alone, usually nine times out of ten, or ninety-nine out of a hundred times, I'll even say that those b- different big buck in return every year. It's just how it works. So this guy was obviously in a honey hole, and he was well known for. And for he was finding huge deer, so, and that's the other thing too. So people can make the argument that oh, he was near a high fence area. He paid them. All. Okay, well, time out. Why would he? Why would he have paid so many people off on these other deer that weren't world record breakers? Yeah, for just no reason. Why? Why would you even do that? You're not going to get any money out. You're just losing money. Yeah, and, it's when you start getting stuff like that, it's hard because like some of these fishing scandals too. It's like it's crazy what they were doing. Like some of them were like charity events and yeah. they were cheating just because they wanted people to be like, oh, he's the man. Yeah, but like that was the guy's thing. Like he didn't care if he was. Yeah, he, he really, just wanted to hunt. And like yeah. the only most of the photos that people show were. Second, second, and third hand. They weren't from right. Directly. True, it's true. Like, hey, look at look at Mitch did like. Here. And there was like over like a dozen people that said that the deer was legit. Yeah. That saw it. Yeah. So yeah, I think that one. So I wonder if it, dude, there might be some crazy conspiracy of the like the Hansons are like just like trying to force this guy to like not because they want to keep the, all the money and like endorsements and revenue and everything. Like, who knows. Like, yeah, because they definitely want to be getting the same amount every year. For right, sure. because it's not the. They even I even saw in that video that like they were getting less uh, buzz at the trade shows and stuff because everybody thought that there was a new world record. Yeah, one hundred percent. So and it's when was the Hans, When was the Hanson? Do you know when that one was? I think it was. I think it was ten years prior. Okay, years so prior, like an eight, it's like in the eighties. You're thinking it would have been late eighties, early nineties. So like, is the guy who even shot that one still alive, or is it just like his? No, I think he's still alive, but um, yeah. they kind of do it like a business agreement where... <clears throat> I need to catch a world record fish. Screw on your tank. <laughs> I wonder what the world record for sheer is. You got to see him eat earlier. That's pretty... Yeah, dude. And slosh those fish. Should have brought more bourbon in here, man. Was... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the... To me, it's... I think 100%. 100%. I think the deer... I'm going to give the guy 100%. Yeah, you think you're that I think confident? The, I think the deer's... I think he legit killed the deer. Now, it still gets weird that he wasn't willing to do an x-ray. Now, even if he was... Yeah, so he refused. He got offered $10,000 to let somebody x-ray. Just for the x-ray. And he refused. And that's where it's kind of like, why wouldn't you? But at the same time, it's like if he's been harassed and harassed over this deer, or yeah, if someone's him. paid him off but, to not enter it, like if someone's offered him a million dollars to not enter it, that's another you thing might, that you, falls into play. Who knows? And then there, supposedly, there's been world record fish caught that haven't counted 
for like weird reasons too. Here's why I go back to he was paid off to just keep his mouth shut about the deer in general, not about the skull player and anything like that, yeah. not about him cheating. So years later, he decides to open up another way. He get he gets real back into like promoting the outdoors and like the deer that he kills and stuff like that. He opens up a website. And on that website, this you can see all the bucks that he killed with all these different similar Some of them look like it, too. They look, yeah, they look identical. 100% the same gene pool, for yeah. sure. Now, the website's up for a short period of time, and then mysteriously vanishes again. Yeah. Now, this is years later. He, he goes in the dark for quite some time. Years later... He just decides up and out of the blue. Now, dude, some people's egos are that big that they would pay somebody to, to not, be, or, be a threat. Basically, they would pay them off just so they could continue being the quote or, unquote man. Or he had a contract agreement that he wasn't allowed to promote any of the deer that he killed. Yeah, and he broke a contract agreement and then had to take the website down. Right, well, that's what I mean. Or they renegotiated a contract. Yeah. So that's where another conspiracy can fall in play. I think the deer is real, but I think it was paid off to keep his mouth shut about it about it because they didn't want to have to that would make sense that's yeah. an interesting theory nobody's talked about that theory really yeah <laughs> that would make that would make sense that's, too. that's what i think that's what i honestly believe that's freaking crazy what do you guys think comment below let us know i don't i used to hunt i don't hunt hardly at all anymore ben's you hunt as much as you possibly can mm -hmm. but yeah guys comment below let me know there's you know there's cheaters not it's not just fishing i mean you know these could be quote-unquote poachers but this is just like a this is just like a big scandal in the hunting industry that's kind of resurfaced recently. So I figured we'd touch on it. Yeah, that's a, that's crazy stuff. Yeah, I mean, you could get that's a, the other crazy part about this is like this mystery probably never never, never, never be know. told. I yeah. don't think it'll ever be told. Maybe like on his deathbed or something, he'll tell somebody. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> He's like whispers, like, guess what? The buck was legit. But what if they gotten so much death with it? They're like, hey, like. You're not even allowed to say this on your death, but this this carries oh, over yeah. to like your kids' oh, inheritance man. or like your nephews or whoever's behind. That's really getting crazy. Yeah. yeah. Holy <laughs> crap. So like, it could, well, he could tell them just be like, don't tell anyone. They could, but they would. What? I would. Oh man, man. What if I was like, so what if my dad? If my dad killed that, he's like, hey, I gotta tell you something about that deer I killed. But he never really mentioned. You gotta promise me you can't tell anybody. He probably would though. I think that's important. Yeah, but if he did, <laughs> that'd those... be like that'd be something not cool to leave out. Yeah, but if he did, like he doesn't have any breath, like he's just like, Don't. it was real. But he's like, but like that even. I would go <laughs> tell everybody. I would go like my dad. He did it. He did it. Yeah. Man, we're getting like deep into conspiracies I, now. I would go and I would find another industry that promotes off of these deer and I would say hey my father told me something on his deathbed yeah cause you want that money mm -hmm. but then you got the freaking so hunting got... the hunting like mafia at you yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> Bill Jordan's gonna come get me <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah guys comment below let me know if you wanna know more about this or if you wanted want me to do more videos like this this is actually like the first hunting video I've ever done on this channel like you know I, I threw in some fishing stuff in there but this has mostly been about this crazy Mitch how do you say his last name Mitch from Rumpola the Rumpola buck, Rum, yeah. Rumpola Mitch Rumpola yeah the Rumpola buck pretty crazy stuff guys I think well, I don't know I think we'll just end it right there that's pretty good okay. the 25 minutes I feel like we were talking about 25 minutes oh, are you really? <laughs> yeah 25 minutes all right guys well thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please smash the subscribe button hit the like button and i'll see you next time